always wondered what the N stands for. What? The N. What, like... It, it stands for Netflix. Oh my, that makes sense. That makes sense. Wow. What? Yo, man, so I gotta tell you about something. Hey, what's up, man? I just found out that my brother lost his apartment. That's crazy, dog. Yeah. I'm thinking he might actually want to move in. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, I mean, and of course, there's nothing wrong with that. Not at all, but... Yeah, I was having the same issue where it's like, yeah, you know, I want Austin to, you know, pay his rent a little bit early because I need it, but it's like, you can't ask somebody that. Yeah. You can't expect somebody to just be like, oh, yeah, yeah. totally, here you go, because it's like, it makes you look like... It makes me look like all I care about right. is that you, you give me money, you know, and that relationship gets really affected that way. And just honestly, I... Dude, is that a, like a fork? Hmm? Man, do you use forks for your cereal? <laughs> oh my god. You had me for a second. I was like freaking... Saying, money, when money enters as a factor, part of a situation, it really affects a person's relationship with another human being. Man, those are chopsticks, dog. What's bugging you? Those are chopsticks. You don't use chopsticks? Is your life okay? You didn't realize you were so particular. Just use a spoon. A spoon? Okay. But that, that's what people... Dude. Well, anyways, I always think about like, what would my family do? Like, what would my mom do, right, in that situation? And it's like, we can't have this, dog. That spoon is made for pots, man. You know what, man? I'm getting tired. I don't even want it anymore. Just use a normal spoon. No, man, I tried hard to talk to you about Bro, things. I didn't it's mean just, it's for you to get upset. I feel like, like our relationship isn't going anywhere. It's not progressing. I just want to be in. Oh my god, I can't do it now. Hey man, I'm leaving for the store. You need anything? Oh yeah, can you pick me up some milk? We're like really low on it. Are you using a spoon for the peanut butter? Oh my god, you're so right. <laughs> you had me for god. a second. I was ooh, I was like, what the heck? But is as that? I was saying, I don't have anything to drink with the sandwich now because Austin used up all the milk last Bro, that's night. a fork, man. That's a fork. I know I'm not seeing this. Bro, what's going on? It's how I make my sandwich. Clearly not, because you're just using a spoon. It makes me think you're doing it on purpose. Then what would someone normally use? Huh? A knife? Yes, a knife. Am I in the Twilight Zone? As I was saying, I just can't keep up with Austin's eating habits. I mean, he uses up all of our That's food. a chef's knife, dog. Well, what would please you, huh? A butter knife, you psychopath. Does this look like butter to you? You know what? Fine, fine. This is really happy. Regardless, I hope you go pick up the milk because it would go great with this. Hey, I'm just glad that we work things out because honestly, I consider you a great friend. I don't think I want to be friends with you anymore. No! What? I know. What did you do? What happened? You had a uh, young life crisis. Why? <laughs> what from? Oh, Rocket League. You know what? That makes sense. You know, just a bit, you're gonna look like this. What? How is this possible? How is what possible? How do I look like this and you look like that? Oh, from a technical aspect. Oh, you just filmed those shots before and this after. But I made fun of you. Correct. So we planned for the haircut to look bad. Yes, absolutely. And then proceeded with it anyway. Yes, absolutely. What if I, what if I want to go back? That's not possible. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. No, you can't expect it to just, just stay stop talking. Oh, you got me kidding. Did we or did we not get the haircut? How about we restart the whole video, okay? And see if we can fix this. Okay, okay, I'll go back out. Excuse me, sir, you need to keep oh, your sir, mouth I was just off. trying to catch my breath. You know you're endangering the life of everyone in this I was just trying gone. to catch my breath. I couldn't, I couldn't breathe that well. Unbelievable. You know, it's really hot out here. I was just no, trying keep to your mask on. Keep your mask on. Don't take it off. Don't look at me. Unbelievable. You see this? You got the hell off. This is what I'm talking about. This is what's wrong with society. What are you doing? Hey man, can I tell you a secret that Megan told me? Oh man, she's always got the drama. What is it? Uh, yeah, um... Well, come on man, spit it out! I'm sorry. Yo, you good man? Something in your drink? No, the drink's fine. My guy, you know your sleeves are wet, right? What's wrong? Well, we're not just gonna pretend that's normal. No human being in the world does that. <laughs> How else would anybody do it? You roll up your sleeves, John! Okay, smart guy. How else would people prevent food from getting on their arms? That's what you do it for food? I'm sensing a bit of resentment from you. I want you out of this house. I'll pay for your rent. I would rather run into financial trouble than to ever witness this again. Right, well at least let me clean the sink out. This way is the best for getting the drain. Stop! Hello, hello. Alright, well welcome sir, here you oh, are. Thank you. Is everything okay sir? I don't think I was given the full menu. <laughs> no, that's correct. <laughs> There's only milk on here. That's correct. You guys only have milk? Oh, it's 2%. That's definitely not what I asked. We only have milk. Does that scare you? That we only have milk? Does it scare you to think that the only thing we have in the back is milk? Just milk. 
gallons and gallons and gallons of just milk. I thought it was a Mexican restaurant. And you want to know where the milk comes Sir, from? Sir, who are you? I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I have no idea who this man is. Sir. I am terribly sorry. <laughs> I was freaking out. He gave me this menu. I... No, that's correct. How do you guys only sell men? You got a dream, you got to protect it. Oh, that's Will's son, right? Yeah, that's his character's son. No, but I mean like in real life. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's indeed Will Smith's character's son in the movie. That's not what I mean. I mean, th that's his real son in real life in the real world. Forget the movie. Forget the movie is not what we're talking about. Will Smith has a son named Jaden, right? Sure. Don't say sure. You know who Jaden Smith is. Okay. Oh my God. That's Will Smith's son in real life, Jaden Smith. I know you understand this. At this point, I'm just informing you that that's Will Smith's son, Jaden Smith, in the same frame. The characters definitely have the same last name in the credits. Okay, when you say that, do you mean biologically, these two people, the actors, they're related? Honestly, I thought this was Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I want you out of my house. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. How may I help you? Hey, I think I just want black coffee. A black coffee? Yes, please. You came to Starbucks to get a black coffee? Yes. What size? Um... Probably grande. You want a black grande. I want a black grande. Would you like me to just put soil in it? Just give me the coffee, please. It would have been easier for you to throw dirt in a cup and use hose as flavor. Is this what we're dealing with now? These complete sociopaths? I don't want to work here anymore. I want to speak to a manager right now. Who hurt you mentally? I simply like black coffee. Go get that filth at McDonald's. I don't like McDonald's. We're the most complex modern technology in the world that as a team allows us to formulate you a perfect mixture of liquids to satisfy your needs. And you want black coffee. Okay, okay. I'll have, I'll have a croissant. I'm calling the police. Hey man, I'm leaving for the store. You need anything? Oh yeah, can you pick me up some milk? We're like really low on it. Are you using a spoon for the peanut butter? Oh my god, you're so right. <laughs> you had me for god. a second. I was, whew, I was like, what the heck? But as that? I was saying, I don't have anything to drink with this sandwich now because Austin used up all the milk last Bro, that's night. a fork, man. That's a fork. I know I'm not seeing this. Bro, what's going on? It's how I make my sandwich. Clearly not because you're just using a spoon. It makes me think you're doing it on purpose. Then what would someone normally use, huh? A knife? Yes, a knife. Am I in the twilight? So, As I was saying, I just can't keep up with Austin's eating habits. I mean, he uses up all of our That's food. a chef's knife, dog. Well, what would please you, huh? A butter knife, you psychopath. Does this look like butter to you? You know what? Fine, fine. This is really happy. Regardless, I hope you go pick up the milk because it would go great with this. Hey, I'm just glad that we work things out because honestly, I consider you a great friend. I don't think I want to be friends with you anymore. Oh, a new Battlefield teaser. Welcome to Battlefield 6. I'm sorry, man, but your goldfish died. I forgot to feed him, and I had to flush him. I'm sorry. I don't have a goldfish. I have a dog. John, where's my dog? John, there's no way. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Jasper? I don't know what I was thinking. I thought it was a goldfish. How, oh, John? How, how does someone mix that up? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't and I saw you tweet a few. Uh, his name is uh, Jaden Jaden Williams. What's the boy who did that video on Vine where he cuts his hair and then he talks to himself in yeah. the future? Oh yeah. Well, I saw the same thing and I went, "How the funny!" What like it's don't so much better than. I, I gotta be honest with you, man. I hope Jaden's listening to this. I'm here, but I, I was on television for like nine years. We'd spent, I think, about two hundred fifty thousand dollars per show, and never in in nine years of making television did I ever make anything that is as good as that that thing he made with his cell phone. With it's, his cell phone, it's so great. I mean, I, had, I would actually argue I have not ever made anything that good ever, and I've released four specials. I mean, like, I was so impressed by that. If he did that, then he's there's greatness in it. Just, oh, there's greatness in it. Oh my god! And that one thing, I texted my manager. I was like, half kidding, half serious. I said, you should manage this. Kid. Let's go, baby. Let's, Let's go, baby. Son of a. Hey, man, what's up? Hi. Uh -huh. I let your turtle go for a swim out back in the saltwater canal. <laughs> oh, because he's not a sea turtle. Uh oh, <laughs> better go get him. <laughs> it's a joke, right? You're joking. Because he's a freshwater turtle that can't swim in a saltwater canal, right, John? <laughs> That's the joke, right? John, where's my turtle? 
So John, he lived in a water tank that was crystal clear. I, I, I thought he wanted to go for a swim. What does that even mean? He's a turtle and he swims. He lives in a water tank. Then why did he want out of the water, huh? The, the canal? John, please don't tell me you forced him into the water. John? What was that? Oh God, forgive me, please. John, you did not go any further after you fought for his life, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? So there I was with Austin, excuse me. I was minding my own business and out of nowhere he said, where's my phone? And I'm like, I have no clue. What are you, what are you doing? What do you mean? You clean your glasses with Windex? Yeah, just like anyone else. Anyways, well, what I was saying... Who cleans glasses with Windex on the go? I'm, I'm not crazy. It literally says glass cleaner on the bottom. No, I get that. That's not the issue. But who cleans glasses with glass cleaner in this in environment? I've seen it online. You've seen it online. I'd love to see where this source came from. Man, what's your problem? Is that a microfiber cloth? cloth? Yes, it is. I know that fiber is like five inches when folded up. Where do you store this on your person? I have a case. You have a case, like a small case for that? Do you want me to get you one? You're missing the point. You're not holding the case. Where's the case? Back at home. Back at home? Then why did you bring it up? You asked. And I'm crazy. I didn't ask. You're holding a bottle of Windex that I haven't seen in your hands this entire time. Where did it come from? Don't. I have a case. Oh my god. Hey man, what are you up to? Oh yeah, I saw your bird looking kind of lonely, so I let him out of his cage so he could play with the cat. What? Yeah, your cat was wanting to play with him, so I let him play. John, what did the cat do that made you think he wanted to play with the bird? <laughs> he was scratching out the cage and I... Oh god, that's so sad. John, why would a bird want to play with a cat? Or vice versa? I don't know, I just thought... Have you ever watched TV? They, they teach you this, like when you're with your child. <laughs> oh god, I'm so sorry, god, please forgive me. Where's my bird, John? Stay away from my animals. You know what? I think I forgot to feed the cat as well, so it probably led to like. I'm so sorry. John, you're psychotic. It's like you do it on purpose. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hey, John, what are you up to? Oh, I'm just vacuuming the hamster's cage after you took him out. I didn't take him out. What? I was actually coming in here to say good morning to him. Where, where'd you put him? John, where's my hamster? I'm so sorry. There's no way, John. God, what have I done? John! I thought you took him out. I did, I swear. How could you have not seen him in the cage? You know what? Honestly, I didn't check. And to level with you, I should have. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God, please forgive me. Here, I'll keep cleaning. No, stop! Oh, wow. He wasn't lying. Dear God, where did you come from? I'm you 30 seconds into the future. 30 sec- We learn time travel within the next 30 seconds? Yes, it's complicated. Even I don't understand it. I'm horribly confused. Trust me, I am too. Wait, was I supposed to say that? Yes, I was. So how do we do it? You simply say there's no place like home with your eyes closed. There's no machine? Like I said, it's complicated. We utilize biotechnology in the future. Where did you learn all this from if you're only 30 seconds into the future? From you. From me. From you 30 seconds into the future being me. What? There's no time to explain. You have to do it. What do you mean I have to do it? Because if you don't and you cause me not to exist, there's going to be a tear in time causing a black hole. What? Just say it. Also, you have to make sure to say everything the exact same way I said it. Wh what if I don't remember everything you said? Say it now. <laughs> there's no place like home. It's unfair, it's unfair. <laughs> what can you do, honestly? <laughs> There's not much you can do, no. Alright, it's my turn now. Sure is. Give me something good. What you doing, man? Move. I think he's already checked. No, I'm just... Uh, does anyone need a drink or anything? I think we're good. Where, where does the place... No, you? don't worry about that, alright? Does anyone need salt? Salt? Crackers? Like, maybe we could have some crackers. Why are you delaying? Make the move. I haven't counted it up yet, alright? You know I need time for that. You're combining two numbers, four and four. That makes eight. Make the move. You want me to make it for you? I got it, alright? Oh, you own that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh. Hey, John, what have you been up to? You're gonna love what I did to make your dog take his medicine. What's that? Okay, so I grabbed one of these brownies, right? And I put the medicine, the tablet, inside the chocolate. And Those are put... chocolate, aren't they? Yeah, and so I put the chocolate next to his dog. You totally get that you're not supposed to feed chocolate to dogs, right? <laughs> because feeding chocolate to a dog would be the most idiotic, abusive thing you could do to one. Chocolate is poisonous to dogs? Yeah, and I know you understand that because only a moron would not get that. Right, John? John, so, so John, where's the brownie? Where's my dog? I didn't know any better. John, children know not to feed chocolate to dogs. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I want an apology. I want my dog. I thought he 
you would like it, please forgive me. <laughs> this is the second dog you killed, John. Oh, God. <laughs> you look at that. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Just want to make you proud. My name is Jaden Williams, and I'm addicted to phone alarms. Jaden, at a very early age, developed an obsession with cell phone ringtones. Yes! Yes! Is that, is that not the best? And his father has no idea where it came from. If for a while, I thought he was retarded. I thought he was special. And since then, I've learned that he just loves ringtones. It gets a little irritating when he plays at like 4 in the morning, but you get used to it. We, we got a healthy relationship. Yes! Will you shut the hell up? Though, Jaden does want to stop his addiction. That's right, you know. I want it to stop, and I, I, I don't know what caused it in the first place, and I think that that's what the journey's all about. No, I dropped him on his head as a child. No, I, I know that's it. Regardless, Jaden strives every day to make his life more ordinary and avoid this craving of his. A great example is today. I haven't listened to a ringtone all day, and I just, I feel the addiction just wearing off. Oh, that's the best one. Back to the patient games with Jaden and Dad. Let's see how it goes. Frank, Jaden's been practicing all year to become more tolerant with his parents and technology. He is shooting for the gold this year. That's great to hear. On Let's mark. see how it goes. So yeah, Opera is like a safe web browser. Oh, so it's like it's like the Amazon thing. Oh, right from the start. Amazon has nothing to do with this. That's got to be aggravating. Let's see if he loses his patience. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's just move on from that. Beautiful save by Jaden. You can already see him sweating. I wanted you to use this because you were talking about like. Privacy and all that. Yeah, I want, I want all the privacy. Yeah, so this thing has a VPN. I don't, what's a VPN? I'm trying to tell you. He's definitely about to lose it. A VPN protects your location. No, but I want it to protect me. Ouch, that one stings. I have no clue how Jaden's going to recover from that one. It is protecting you, all right? And the cool thing about it is that it's only on Android right now. Oh, no, that's the robot on my phone, right? I don't even know what that means. Jaden is starting to talk back. He needs to be careful. All right, now, I don't need the attitude from you, okay? Okay, you're right, you're right. Great recovery by Jaden. Well, the cool thing is, is that the browser has like this built-in ad block. No, I don't need it blocking nothing. I, I ain't no sheep. No, it's blocking ads, advertisements. How would you not want that? And there goes the chances for gold for Jaden. I'm gonna beat the <laughs> out of you. Oh, and a threat is an automatic deduction. Jaden for sure will be getting a bronze medal this year. So what are we having today? I'll be having the sunny side sandwich. Okay, would you like that with or without the crust? Just the crust. What? Just the crust. You, you want just the crust of your sandwich? Does that scare you? That I just want the crust? Do you want me to just cut up some bread? I want you to make the whole sandwich. The egg, the bacon, the lettuce, the tomato. And then I just want you to serve me just the crust. What, what do you want me to do, do with, with the rest? Do with the rest, throw it out. Sir. I want to see you throw it out. I want to see it go to waste. Why, sir? Because a crust? Eaten in peace is better than a banquet partaken in anxiety. Sir, I have no clue what that yeah, means. Yeah, me neither. I'll have the crust on it. Okay, new Oreo flavors. Let's see what you came up with. <laughs> right, sir. We think you're gonna love this one. Creamy peanut butter Oreos. That's not real. Well, we did a study and we found out that young people find creamy peanut butter to be the young and hip thing to eat. I never want to hear those words come out of your mouth again. That is straight peanut butter between two cookies. Let's move on. Absolutely. Our next flavor is a new form of mint. Okay, see, that's what we need. We don't need these radical changes. Mint toothpaste Oreo. While you eat, you clean your teeth. You made a slogan for it. That God didn't intend for that to be made. I, I will say that I personally thought that was pushing it too far. I'm going to hit you with my car. Vegetarian Oreo. That is lettuce between two cookies. You can't be serious. I told you he wouldn't like it. It's lettuce, gentlemen. Well, we did a study. If you bring out another paper, I will kill you. Guys, let's stick with simple, okay? Pumpkin Oreo, coffee Oreo, something like that. Well, we have one more to show I you. swear, if it's something absurd, I will fire both of you and pray you run into financial trouble. Butter no. Oreos. Get out of my office. Hello, what can I get you for today? Hey, I'll just have a double patty burger, fries, and a Sprite. And you want all that to be a meal? No. You want it all to be individual? I don't want the meal. Sir, it'll save you money. I don't want to save money. Why would you? What's your small and large drink size? Uh, 15 and 30 ounces. I'll take two small drinks. Sir, are those both for you? Sir, then why don't you just get a large? You because can I don't want to save nothing. Why, sir? Does that scare you? Does it scare you that you don't understand? Sir, please. Does it scare you to know that both of our lives have led up to this, this one moment in time of complete anarchy? Does it scare you that you don't know why I don't want to save money, or does it scare you that you don't feel in control? In control. Control sphere. 
I just get paid minimum wage, sir. Can I also have two ketchup packets? Yo, bro, can I show you a video real quick? Yeah, sure. This is the funniest thing ever. Oh my god. Look at that. I haven't even seen the whole thing yet, so like we can watch it together. And then like, he just keeps doing that. He keeps like, it's just like this little dance. And heck, maybe we can like watch it again, you know? I don't even know how long it is. I'm just excited to experience this with you. And like, I got nothing else to do all day, so it's perfect. Please take a moment to open the case and check the contents. It was already broken. That, that's unfair. It was broken. That's, I, I want to speak to a manager. I want to talk to someone because... What are you looking at, four eyes? Get that grin off your face. Look away! Listen, I, I know you saw the cookie was broken beforehand, right? So th th there's got to be someone I can I can talk to that's higher up than you that that will be able to reason with me. I think that's the best way we can resolve this. All right? Does everyone have a staring problem? That's why Dot Rice Cakes. That was not meant to be racist. I did not. That was unintentional. I was making fun of his weight. Oh, not you too. Listen, there's something weird about him. He is hiding something. Is he cheating? Look! Look! Oh hell no! What's going on now? I'm not. We gotta restart. Listen, you just need to be, I just need to, I need to be able to, I need to be able to speak someone. Oh, you suck. Okay, will that be it for your order? Yeah. Uh, oh, and can I have a few salt packets, please? No. <laughs> no. No. What do you, what do you mean, no? <laughs> I mean, no. No as in no, we don't have any, or no as in I don't, I don't want to give you any. And why would that be? I don't feel like it. You don't feel like telling me? or you... I don't want to give you any. Right, you said that already, psychopath. Why don't you want to give me any because salt? Because you don't look like a person who deserves salt. Come again? Because you don't... I wasn't actually asking you to repeat it. Why, why don't you think I deserve salt? You look like you consume a lot of sodium. I don't even know what that means. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone right now. It means I don't think you deserve salt. I'm going to have to ask you to get a manager before I, I hit you with my car. Well, I am the manager. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. They would never put a, a psychopath in charge of a restaurant like this, especially someone in charge of salt. I'm spitting. I'm spitting. You seem a bit salty. Oh, yeah? Well, well I'm going to assault you. Hey, is everything all right here? Yeah, your guy here isn't willing to give me a couple salt packets. Is that right, boss man? Oh, you gotta, you gotta take it with a grain of salt. I'm gonna drive my car through the building. John, welcome home. Where have you been? Well, I went to the bank to get the rent money that you asked me for. I thought you didn't have the money. Well, I don't. But I politely asked them to put some money in the bag, and they are more than willing to. Very reasonable people. You asked a bank clerk to put money that isn't yours into that bag while wearing a beanie, a mask, and sunglasses. Yes. Completely hiding your identity. Yes, well, when you put it like... Oh, oh man, John. <laughs> oh, God, what have I done? There's no... This is just a prank. This is just a prank, right, John? Right? John, aren't are there any details you left out? John, you, you did not use my card. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I, I really messed up this time, didn't I? John, you need to... I, I can't take the fall for this. How much money did you take? You <laughs> never told me to stop. <laughs> I'm living with a psychopath. Oh god, please help me. I can't help you out of this one. You robbed the bank. <laughs> I'm so sorry! Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed your meal. Would there be anything else, sir? Oh, it was great. Can I have a box for this? <laughs> I'm serious. Sir, it's just a bite. Are you sure? Absolutely. Sir, not to make an issue out of it, but it's just one last bite. I'm full. Well, why not just throw it out? <laughs> and have it go to waste? <laughs> oh, sir, it seems like a big waste to give you a whole box for that one piece. Well, give me a box in this size. Sir, we don't... That would be a Tupperware container. Do we have an issue? Yes, we do. Well, maybe if you think outside the box, you could figure something well, out. Well, maybe I should put you into a box. Are you threatening me? Life is like a box of chocolates. And you're not getting any of them. That was pretty good. I'm so excited for the new Spider-Man movie. Do you think they're all going to be in it? Oh, well, of course. I mean, after the screenplay got leaked and all. What did you say? Oh yeah, the whole story got leaked online. I can't believe Toby dies only an hour into the film. Why would you say that? And the way he dies too, just Andrew Dodd in the Green Goblin's glider, he just goes straight into his chest. Like, it's really a throwback to Spider-Man 1.
What did he say? John, you're gonna get us killed, please stop! And Tom like leans down and holds Toby and Toby's like with great power comes great responsibility. Yo, I'm gonna kick your if you keep talking. You're ruining the film for everyone else in the theater, please! And I just can't believe Tom and Andrew couldn't save MJ from falling. <laughs> Oh and then Andrew deteriorating at the end because the timeline doesn't allow two of the same person to be in the same universe. Oh my god. I'm gonna kill you and your friend after this. Dude, please shut up. I'm still surprised that they wrote in that Doctor Strange has to kill Tom to preserve the universe. Oh my god. And I was minding my own business and all of a sudden- Hey man, can you turn on the light real quick? Oh yeah, sure. But anyways, I was saying- Brian. What? The candle. What about the candle? Turn the light off. Okay, now turn it back on. As I was saying... Brian, the candle! What about the candle? Be sure to follow me on Insta. Oh yeah, for sure. <clears throat> no! Put your phone away, boy! Mr. Ingrana! Oh, did you boys not hear? Physical discipline's allowed back in school. Oh yeah. That means you boys can't keep about every single exam and assignment that you have a tough time with. Does that make you sad? Well, you'll be hearing from my mother. <clears throat> And you'll be hearing from this hand every single time you speak up without approval. Whew, that feels good. I have been waiting on that. All you boys talk about is your Fortnite and your, and your freaking hormones. I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. What'd you say? Say it again. I dare you. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Please just shut up. Woo! I feel like Chris Brown right now. <laughs> Lord, I'm gonna fix this world. <laughs> what did I do that time? All you kids complain that we need to teach differently based on your skill set because you're all little special snowflakes, huh? How about you realize you're not cut out for this world and you're gonna work the rest of your life at a McDonald's? Mr. Ingrata, that is enough! <laughs> <laughs> This TikTok thing is great. I think we gonna start making videos. No, don't make videos. What's going on? I'm you from the future. You make videos. You make a lot of videos. You make a lot of good videos. And you make a lot of fans because of it. You learn good times to upload. You develop a schedule. You spend hours working on every single video. Writing, filming, editing, marketing. You dedicate a lot of time to it. And in turn, you make a lot of money. A few sponsorships, a lot of sponsorships. Touring, eventing, hosting. Everything revolves around social media. Social media, social media. Society gets to a point where every kid you meet's got a million followers and a brand under their name. Everyone has their own collection of NFTs connected to their name. A crypto token for their own transactions and followers to back it up. We get so desensitized by our own self-interest and self-absorption. Knowing that the only thing that every child is worth in this world is the number of followers they have and the view-to-like ratio attached to their handle. The U.S. dollar becomes worth nothing because of all the worthless talent that floods the world that we publicize as high-quality content. Everyone is someone. To every child is viewed as a god because society forces them to. It becomes the biggest worldwide competition on the face of the earth. Who's the most talented? Who gets the most attention from the most people? And it's all automatic. The algorithm. And it's not just from them. It's everyone. It's a fight for the most clicks. I wish I knew. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Hey, you like my new dog? Oh, yeah. Oh my god. The heck was that? He's just like my dog. He has a deep ball. Sounds like he's dying. Oh my god, stop! You better shut him up, he's freaking me out. You're hurting him! Yeah, and I'll do it again! Get away from my dog! <laughs> he's so loud! Stop! Alright, see you later, alligator. <laughs> After a while, crocodile. <laughs> oh, okie dokie, artichokey. <laughs> Alright, time to go, buffalo. <laughs> I'm out the door, dinosaur. Oh, hang loose, mongoose. <laughs> you know what I mean, jelly bean? Alright, take care, teddy bear.
Bye bye butterfly. Toodaloo kangaroo. Hit the road, Jack. Oh, that one doesn't rhyme. <laughs> no, Jack, I'm telling you to get out of my house. No, no, okay. Okay, your dental crown is done. That'll be 1500 at the door. Hey, if I don't got the money right now, can I put it on my tab? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Open up real quick. Mr. Webbs, can I ask you a few questions? I don't know. Can you? Did you know Ashley Roadhouse? Sounds familiar. Who's asking? Detective Lakes on the case. Ashley went missing two days ago near the Lakeside Docks. The docks that you work at. I haven't been there the last couple days. And that's the exact reason I'm here. Where have you been, Mr. Webbs? I had business to attend to. I called out. What kind of business did you I'm have? I'm sorry, did you order the martini? No. I went to your office and found out that you didn't tell your employer. I'm so sorry. Are you sure you didn't order it? No. No, I didn't. Do, do I look like I drink martinis? I have a bartender right in front of me. <laughs> I, I was just thinking I know, that... but I told you I didn't order it. Why would I lie about that? I don't like... You forgot. I forgot. I forgot that I got a drink at a bar that served you drinks. You clearly didn't order the drink. I, well, when you put it like that, it makes me sound like an idiot. All right, I had private business to attend to. What was that business, Wes? May whomever ordered the orange martini please come to the you bar. You know I could have you arrested, right? Paper or plastic? Oh, neither. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, neither? I want a third option. You want a third option? Yes. <laughs> there, there's no other option, just paper or plastic. <laughs> there's plenty of other materials out there. <laughs> what, like on the table of elements? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you seriously think I don't know that there's more material? Sir, you can only choose from paper or plastic. I want to speak to a manager. Are you kidding me? Is everything going all right here? Yeah, this older gentleman says I can't have anything besides paper or plastic for my bag. Older gentleman? Is that so? <laughs> we don't offer anything Is else. Is tinfoil okay? Yes, that would be perfect. Oh my gosh, that's what I was looking for. Thank you. Nervous, some people. Yeah, my card's declining. Rodney Rich, you got a moment? And who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Detective Lakes on the case. I wanted to ask Oh, that's you. clever. I'm sorry. It, it rhymes. It, what was that? Your catchphrase? What was it? Detective Lakes. On the case. That's good. What, even detective. Like, detective. That, I mean, that alone. That's, what is that? Alliteration? I don't think oh, that's... No, alliterate. That's with multiple words. Seashell. No. What is it? She sells seashells by the seashell. No, that's... That is a tongue twister. But it's not a tongue twister, what you're saying. Actually, Roadhouse went missing five days ago, Mr. Rich, at your boat docking establishment. What do you have to say about that? Is it homonym? No, that that's just words that sound the same. God, this is gonna bug me all day. How about I take you in for questioning? Cause even that qu question, no, maybe. Yeah, no, that I might just be crazy. You're under arrest. I saw the girl. <laughs> she, she was down at Dock Five a few days ago, talking to some of my workers. Why was she down there in the first place? I don't know. Was she with anybody besides them? There was some guy with with a hat on. I don't. I didn't recognize him. What color was the hat? Light blue. Would you order the martini? That's all I need for now. Thank you. Wait. What? I think it was just rhyming. We're just gonna put a couple eye drops in your eye and there we- Oh! <laughs> oh, I messed up. Get you to the ER. How about? Oh wow! I'm so sorry. Oh my God! Can we do that again? Catch my breath and hold it for me. I'm wasting my time trying to make up my mind. My name is Jaden Williams. Today is December 6th, 2021, and by 21 years old, I've reached a million followers. It took me a year and a half since I started uploading skits to TikTok. Though that sounds relatively quick, what you don't see is the decade of trying to make something of myself by learning how to film, edit, act. Just a pure, pure love and obsession for filmmaking. To you all, whether you're a follower or someone that just came across this video, I don't know how that happened. That's kind of awkward. Thank you to the people that made my early talents of producing 
feel so appreciated. And I would genuinely appreciate if you could comment on this video and tell me how you found out about me and anything else you want to say and I will try to respond to as many comments as I can. Besides that, this is a huge moment. This is a milestone that I've been looking forward to for a very long time. And so, a few people wanted to congratulate me on a million followers and here they are. I just want to say congrats on a million followers. I've never seen videos with such bad sound get so many views. That's everybody's least favorite Williams. Congrats on a million. That's great. Go make another video where your friend loses your parakeet or whatever. Who cares? You and your extra sweaty twin brother are gross. You don't even have a million followers yet? Oh, congrats, I guess. Dude, you have a really wet face. It makes me uncomfortable how wet your face is. Jaden Williams has just got 1 million followers on TikTok. Tell me when you've got 10 million, man. 1 million followers is nothing. Congratulations on a million followers. I guess I'm just, you know, one of one of a million. I don't know, I, I, I guess I thought we were friends, but I guess I'm just one of the, the million followers of great Jaden. Hey, Jaden. Love you, buddy. <laughs> Before I congratulate you on your... Your, your 1 million followers. I've been researching the surgery for you. It's called ETS. It's a sweat reducing surgery for your face. Bro, that concerning, man. Fix it. A million people follow you? That's sad. What are they doing? Gosh. John, John, do me a favor, Jamie. Say it a couple more times. That'd be great. Jaden, my man, honestly, I'm extremely impressed by you, bro. Aside from the fact that you DM me a hundred times to send you this video clip for your bogus ass compilation, you've managed to accumulate a million followers and you're still an irrelevant piece of Jaden, please, please stop DMing me. I'm gonna have to block you, man. And and we all know if I block you, you're not gonna pop up on my for you page. You haven't hit that in how long now? Jaden? Only Jaden I know is is Smith. He's talented. All right, so see you later, alligator. <laughs> After a while, crocodile. <laughs> oh, okie dokie, artichokey. <laughs> All right, time to go, buffalo. <laughs> I'm out the door, dinosaur. Oh, hang loose, mongoose. <laughs>
Look at the bottom of the page. I think I wrote that actually. Is this like, do, do we not have free will? We do. In this context, it's a skit. So this is getting a little political. Let's just restart the video. Wait, that, that's it? The skit just restarts and we're stuck in this never ending loop of confusing dialogue and, and this fourth wall breaking writing? Yeah. And a lot of viewers will rewatch this a second time to get a glimpse at anything they didn't understand the first. But we'll now get it because they've already seen the video once already. For instance, write in that he says giraffe randomly. But, but I do say giraffe randomly. Well, sure, but it's because I just wrote it in. And him writing it in is also a part of the script. What? And here we go. Oh, <laughs> hey bud, I was just wondering if you want anything to eat. Oh, I'm, I'm good, I appreciate it. You know, I was gonna head to the store, pick up some stuff. No, I'll, I'll, I'll be good, thank you though. I was thinking of getting some tater tots for tonight. I had a late lunch, so I think I'll be set for the night. You sure? I might throw them in the oven for like a better crisp. I'm good. Might change your mind. I would tell you if I felt that way. <laughs> but you might not be in 10 minutes. Listen, you're heading to the store. I'm fully aware that you're going out to get food. I'm self-aware enough to know if I'd get hungry within that period or even later. With your generous offer in mind, I'm going to decline. I've analyzed all the faults on my part, and I'm aware that I'm going to be full the rest of the night. Heck, even if I'm not, I still know there's food and snacks in the pantry, so I'll be good. You sure? What do you not understand? I have provided every form of materialistic evidence I can provide to tell you that I'm not hungry. Well, don't you start an attitude with I'm me. not trying to start an attitude. Don't you pull that on me. I have generously responded to your question in every universally understandable way, and you will still not accept it as an answer. Well, you're absolutely raising your voice at me. Maybe because you turned this single questionnaire into an entire FBI investigation. Fine. Fine. So you sure you're all set? Give me tater tots. <laughs> That's what I thought. All right. You sure you still want them? Oh my god! Would you like to start off with some bread? Yeah, but wait. Yeah. Can you make it just white bread? Oh. Toasted? No. No. I just want white bread. You want a piece of white bread like straight from the bag? Yes. And you don't want anything done to Does it. Does that scare you? That I only want white bread? Sir, why? You would... think just because we're in this governing body of a restaurant, you get to choose what I deserve to eat? Are you wanting any entree after? I just want the bread. Why wouldn't you just go to the grocery store for that? And that's it, right there. The, this, this system, this agenda of commandeering what I want to eat. How dare he? So you're here for... To make a point. To make a point. To show you, you haven't gotten all of us. What's going on there? The monarchy collapsing. Well, fortunately for you, all we sell is white bread. What? Oh yeah. Look at the menu. No. No, this can't be. Oh yeah. No. No! No! Oh, yeah! College has been crazy, man. I bet. Hey, man, are you hot in here? You look like you're sweating. Oh, no, I'm good, bud. You sure? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Because every time I look at you, there's more sweat. It's not even more sweat. It's like a lot more sweat. Um, hey, okay. So you're admitting you're not even hot. No, I'm, I'm comfortable. Um, Ron, you've like sweated a, a bottle's worth of water since we started on this subject. Oh, do, do you have water? Ron, do you feel dehydrated? I could go for a glass. That's what I'm saying, man. You're profusely sweating. Well, I don't need one. No, I'm not trying to make you self-conscious of sweating. No, I'm not self-conscious. Good lord, run, run! You clearly are. You can't even deny that you're sweating. I, I see you squinting. It's it's just the ceiling light getting to me. Ron, we need to take you to the ER. Um, no. You can't even make up a solid response back. I, um, could I have a glass of water? Yeah, we're taking you to the hospital. Gentlemen, guess what? Oh, what, what's that, Phil? That ticket you bought me for my birthday? I won. Oh, wow, c congrats. Don't give me your cocky attitude, Mr. Myers. Excuse me? Because I quit. Phil, I... No, I don't want to hear it. I've been dealing with you for way too long. Phil. And you too, Grayson. All you guys do is, is pick on me. I never get invited to the baseball games. I, I didn't mean... You even invite Gina, and she's our receptionist. Yeah, but she's Gina. <laughs> Shut up, Grayson. You have talked down to me for the last time. All well, these documents I have to have prepared for you by the afternoon. God, Jesus above! I'm so happy I never have to talk to you. Low life blood sucking parasites ever again. Phil, watch yourself. What are you gonna do about it, Phil, that's enough. And your kids, every time we have a play day with them, God, I hate them. They have zero manners. Your little kid, Rami, I would punt him across the football field if I could. Phil, the lottery ticket is fake. What? The ticket is fake. We, we bought it to prank you. And that's what Gina said about you guys. Phil, you're fired. What the heck is happening? Oh, hey, Grayson, how are you? Um, good. What am I looking at? You know that's improper English, right? What? Saying good. You should say I'm fine. I, 
I don't know. Ron, please. Oh, it seems one of our chairs started clipping in and out of reality. Reality? What? You need to work on your stuttering. Ron, there is a chair to find the laws of physics in our living room. On this plane. This plane. This plane of existence. Also, I think this is on the same level of a Boltzmann brain forming into existence. A what? It is so loud! A Boltzmann brain. It's the chances of a single brain forming into existence spontaneously. I think this is like that. Ron, are you trying to confuse me more? Except I think it's used more for an analogy. Yeah, this isn't supposed to happen. Yeah, you don't say, Ron! I wanna grab it. Ron. Like, what would happen, honestly? Ron, let's not find out. Well, again, the chances of a physical occurrence like this happening again is slim to none. So what, you wanna risk it for science? I would be a hero. Might get a Nobel Prize. And how exactly would you document your experience, Ron? That's fair. We could get a rope. Ron, we need to get this out of our house. Could you imagine where this is teleporting to? It could be quintillions of light years away. It's a chair. It's a glitchy chair. I want it out of the house. It, it hit it with something. Well, that could cause a black hole. What? I mean, really, the ignorance. Why do you think you can control it? We have no idea what this thing can do. Ron, what are we dealing with? I'm just saying, put some thought into it. I mean, when you're dealing with something like this, at least think about it before you act. Golly. Listen, you were the one that wanted to grab it. I don't like these valid comebacks you're throwing at me. Wonder how much galactic radiation we're consuming right now. I'm calling the police. What are they gonna do? Arrest it? I don't know what else to do, Ron, when we have a radioactive chair clipping in and out of reality where we eat. Well, there you go. I'm gonna refill my coffee. Is that a black hole? Grayson, I thought you had work today. I'm working from home today. What's happening? Working from home. How'd you get away with that? Ron, I swear. Yes, there seems to be a black hole in our living room. Dare I even ask how? I believe it was due to my attempt at photosynthesis, gaining energy from the sun, but instead caused that said energy to collapse in on itself. You tried to photosynthesize. It was weird. Don't try to concern yourself with it. Ron, my chest is getting heavy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably not good for us. Oh, there's something in my eye. Ron! What do you want me to do about it, Grayson? Contact Matthew McConaughey? I don't know, Ron. It just seems like all these things happen because of you. I caused the black hole. You, you literally said you did. Okay, that's fair. Oh, there goes my favorite lamp. You should have seen this thing a few minutes ago. The size of a penny. S so it's growing. Of course. Exponentially, I might add. What do you mean? It's a... Uh... Rate of growth is getting faster and faster. Well, how long do we have? What is that humming? Well, from the speed that's been going the last few minutes. Ten minutes? For, for what? The house to be consumed? No. The world. Ron! And the humming, I can't tell if it's the universe collapsing in on itself or if we're about to meet God. <laughs> I can't breathe anymore. Should we get out of the house? Well, if you want to make it quicker, you could probably run into it. Ron, that was just rude. That was a joke. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be more social. <laughs> I love that coffee cup. You, you think that's gonna matter in five minutes? The visuals of a black hole to the naked eye have just been theorized. This is a breakthrough. A breakthrough that's not gonna last very long. Run! I can't breathe! I think I've got some Vicks vapor up somewhere. <sighs> I think we need to move out. Hello? I'll be 350 at the first window. I, I didn't even order yet. You, uh, you need to pay first before we give you food. I didn't give you my order. You, you want napkins for that? What? No, we ran out. You don't have any napkins? What sauces you want? Sorry, we don't got that in stock. I, I don't know what my meal is, let alone what sauces. Come to the first window. I, I, I haven't ordered my meal. What you want? We don't got it. No, you should see this guy. Ugly as hell. <laughs> Can you not Ice just... Ice cream is broke. Machine's broke. Chicken, chicken machine broke too. Chicken machine... Can I just have a drink? Drink machine broke. Can I at least have a water? Our water machine broke too. How? It exploded. It exploded. There's radiation in here. I can't see. Okay. Alright, I'll be 350 at the first window. Oh, what now? Grayson, there seems to be a portal to a different dimension in our living room. Yeah, I see that. How is that possible? Do you really expect me to have an answer? Ron, you don't need to give me the attitude. Because I do. Oh. I accidentally threw salt at the wall and unintentionally tore the fabric of space and time. Through, like, witchcraft? What? But I don't know. You said salt, so I'm like, okay, uh, witch witchcraft? Crystals. Think I do witchcraft? I don't know, Ron. I don't know what you're into. How exactly did you do this then? Well, what I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted. Oh my god. I believe the salt at a microscopic level split between possibly ions causing some fourth dimensional time fissure between dimensions. Or in this case, a room. A room? Well, isn't that what a room looks like to you? So there's just a dimension that's just a bunch of rooms? Why does it smell like wet carpet? I would imagine. What was that? 
I think it's about time we close this. Why? Did you really just ask me that after hearing what that was? Well, why the urgency? What was that? Considering this may be a different dimension, I imagine the human mind can't even comprehend it, and I care not to find out. Ron? That's not good. Ron, what do we do? Maybe it expects an offering. Ron! Not you, Grayson. Give me your cup. But I love this coffee cup. Throw yours in. I just bought this cup. Why would I do that? Fine, take it. Ron, it's getting louder. Shh. Was that a chair? I think that was our old one. Which reminds me, we need to pick up new furniture at Ikea. Oh. Well, I got a new coffee creamer if you'd like to try it. Hey, will you watch the iron for me, will you? Yeah, sure. Oh my god, it's on fire! Why didn't you do anything? You told me to watch it. What do you think I meant by that? I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Why would I tell you to just simply stare at the iron? That's like saying, how about you just stare at that lamp right there? It was a hypothetical! Sorry that I take directions seriously. Are you a freaking sociopath? So if someone told you to just jump off a bridge, would you do it? Oh my god. Ron, what's happening? Oh, hi, Grayson. Guys, we can't all talk at the same time. Grayson, there seems to be half a dozen of you. Yeah, way to state the obvious, Ron. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, Ron. They're just spawning into existence? Yes, the multiverse is real. I thought it was clever. I did too. Thank you. I was theorizing about multidimensional teleportation, or we were, and we ended up manifesting into this universe. Is that somehow supposed to explain it? Why do you always expect us to have some concrete answer? I appreciate that, Ron number four, but shut up. Know your place. Jeez, Ron. My intelligence is being questioned and I don't like it. Who says you're the Ron of this universe anyways? Grayson? His shirt in this universe is green. Wait, why am I defending you? My shirt is green. Wait, do you all believe your shirt is green? Yes. The labels of the color spectrum across the multiverse vary. That is fascinating. Ron number three, why are you wearing sunglasses? Bruno Mars. Incredible. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god, what happened to him? About time he vanished. I didn't like him. He talked back too much. Vanished? It seems we all vanish after a certain amount of time. And fortunately, it seems they vanish faster than they appear. And that means what? This shouldn't last too much longer for you guys. You're all okay with this? You're not scared? Previously, we agreed that if something like this were to ever happen, we would let reality correct itself. In your own heads, you agreed on this? Yes, I'm glad we're all cooperating. Who thinks of something like that? We do. I am still not over how terrifying that is. You all have your own unique mugs and shirt colors. Might I say they are lovely. Thank you. I think that's me. Talk to me. Did he just get a phone call across dimensions? Hey, in this universe, do you have a Jack Harlow? Yes. Fantastic. Love that guy. Yeah. He seemed fun. You want to play rock, paper, scissors, shoot to see who goes first? Sure. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> oh, man. I always win. Oh, my turn. Really? Who was that? I have no clue. Well, it looks like that's it. I was gonna offer them more coffee, so there's plenty in the pot. I can't keep doing this, Ron! So when do you think the trauma started? Back in middle school, probably, uh, the older kids used to call me giraffe neck. <laughs> Did you just laugh? No, I was clearing my throat. I think you laughed. <laughs> I, I would do no Are such thing. Are you literally still laughing? That would be inappropriate. Did they call you anything else? Okay, we're done here. Name? Uh, Jaden. Lane up front, the blue Prius. You almost done? It's our system. Yeah, but it's five letters. Last name? Williams. Okay. Oh, you said five letters? There's no Y. Oh, there's no Y. Our, our 
kitchen is on fire! You're not even going to greet me? What? Well, when you enter a room, you should at least acknowledge the people that are in it with you. Sorry that I was distracted by the fire coming out of our oven! Yeah, but it takes a second, Grayson. Our kitchen is on fire, Ron! No need to yell, Grayson. We're indoors. Add that to the pieces of advice I've given you about being a respectful human being. Why is the fire changing colors? That's your question? Not why is there a fire in our oven? I, I did! You stated it, not asked it. Why is there a colorful fire in our kitchen, Ron? I'm glad you asked. I was trying to perform nuclear fission in a controlled environment, in this case our oven, and I believe I caused a nuclear meltdown. What? Yeah, I have no defense for this. This is bad. Is there, like, radiation in the air? If that was the case, we would be dead. Oh. Or soon to be. Ron! The colors pertain to different elements and compounds radiating out of the oven. As long as it's not green, you should be good. Green? Green? That would most likely be radium emitting from the core, but I don't think we'll reach a high enough temperature for that. I would imagine the core would collapse in Ron? Once. That's unfortunate. How much radiation are we consuming? Well, it's not 3.6 Rundkin, that's for sure. What? There's the collapse. I think we're good. Just don't eat or drink in this house for a few days. Do we get a new oven? I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. Yo, who made this chicken? It's dry! I keep the eggs out for the time. It's dry! Was it you? Red shirt! Look at me! Acknowledge me! Oh my god! I can't do this today! This ain't got nothing in it! You know that, right? Your family ain't safe. Your family ain't safe. I'm calling Miguel. Miguel, I'm about to run that chicken place you told me about. They give me dry chicken. No, I can't. I can't handle that. Bring the whole crew. I ain't, I ain't playing like this no more. I ain't doing this. I, ain't do I said I'm not doing this no more. I'm gonna rob this place. So I'm Damn! Now behind me is the secure contained protect facility, SCP. Ron, why is our TV doing whatever that is? Simple answer, I tried mounting the TV to the wall, but I think I mounted the wall to the TV. How would you do that? You know, my question is, how's it still working? Ron, I don't know if I owe it to the TV or the wire. Is the wire a separate object to the TV? Ron, please. I mean, let's go deeper. What defines a TV? I can't imagine there's any less than a few dozen parts in there. I hate you as a roommate. Even then, there's thousands of electrical components making up the circuitry behind us. What exactly is defining what should clip through the wall? You know what I mean? Ron, all I see is a TV leaving marks on our drywall. That's... So ignorant. Sorry that I'm so desensitized by these unusual events that happen in our house. I, for one, find it fascinating, and I wish I had a colleague who cared just as much as I do about documenting these experiences. How do we stop it, Ron? I'm concerned, too. What if we lose the TV? What if we lose the TV? Are you just gonna watch Mark Rober this way? I could, if I move my head synchronously with it. Yeah. Give it a try, Ron. Don't talk about this ever. Oh, it took away the TV. I need you to go pick up a thing of paint at Ikea. What, you're making me do it? These things only happen when you're around, Ron. Get it done. That's fair. I love peanut butter. Well, I'm allergic to peanut butter.
Oh, okay. Wow, I didn't know we had a fascist amongst us. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, you're victimizing yourself How now. dare you? Who, who are you? They are a strong, independent being that won't be restrained by these confines of this systematic peanut butter bigotry. Peanut butter bigotry? I, I just said I liked peanut butter. Wow, you said you loved peanut butter. You really are a gaslighter. Now you, I have no clue what's happening. You are oppressing me! You're disgusting! I'm gonna hit you with my car. I didn't mean for any of this to happen! We have on our show Jaden Williams, who has taken a stand against the alt-left anti-peanut butter coalition. Tell me, Jaden, what made you speak out against these radical views on the subject matter? I am so scared. Well, after reading your book, I didn't write that. How did I get here? This just in presidential candidate Jaden Williams being questioned about his motives against the anti-peanut butter coalition and how a tweet earlier from this year led to him running for candidacy. I just love peanut butter. <laughs> Here's a 50. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We can't accept anything above 20. Why? We just can't. I'm sorry for the this is little. This is money. No, I understand, sir. It, it's just a security measure. Security measure? Is your franchise having a money printing problem? Sir, no, I'm serious. It, it's U.S. currency. What's the point of it if I can't use it? We simply can't. Don't pull that on me. Act human, all right? If, if I give you two 20s and a 10, that somehow magically makes me not be perceived as a criminal somehow? Sir, it's just our policy. Quit with that. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. If anything, I would think it'd be the more criminalized denomination because it would look less suspicious. Sir, I know what you mean. What's by your name? My name? What's your name, son? It's Fred. Fred, listen, I know I'm making sense to you, Fred. Sir. Fred, look at what's happening. You're not accepting a denomination because what's well, too valuable? But you're willing to accept three denominations that add up to the exact same amount? Okay, okay, you're right. Thank you. Hey, I need you order pizza for us. Oh God, please don't make me. I ain't gonna beat you up over it. Just get it done. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Yes, I would like to order. What's the name? Uh, yes, large pepperoni pizza. What's the name for the order? Right. Right. Are it's... you nervous? You're terrified, aren't you? Jamal. Jamal, this kid can't even order a pizza. No, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, no, Bye. he can't. He can't do it. <laughs> I, 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 I speak up. What's the name? Colin. It's Colin. Colin? <laughs> yes. Are, are those gummy worms? Hello, Grayson. Yes, trolley gummy worms. You hit the nail right on the head. Why are there three foot long gummy worms in our kitchen? Three foot long? I'd say they're more like two. What? I'm just saying they're shorter than three feet. That's just false information. Are they growing? You know, it's our job as young people to not let false information spread. Ron! Do you hear what I'm saying, Grayson? Yes, Ron, but do you hear what I'm saying? I can confirm. You can confirm that they're growing. I can confirm that I heard you. That's what you were asking. You, oh my god, you are so hard to communicate with. Yes, I can confirm that the comedically large gummy worms are indeed growing in our kitchen. And they're from that? Grayson, what else would it be from? I don't know, Ron. They're clearly not the same size. I mean, common sense would tell you it has something to do with these. How do we stop them from growing? In my opinion, this seems like an infinite food source. Ron. Well, from my work in the field, I'd say this is spontaneous combustion. Spontaneous co work in the field? What do you mean, work in the field? From my master's in combustion dynamics, Grayson. Of course it is. What? Continue. Either the gummy worms will unavoidably collapse in on themselves, shrinking back down to the normal size, or... Or... Or our kitchen's going to be needing a sticky remodeling. What? Would you look at that? You want some? I keep a close watch on them. Please select your option to proceed. Pause it. Please begin inserting currency. 25575. Please begin inserting currency. You just take my money? Damn! I worked so hard for that! Damn! Cancel! Option. So Damn. Can I get some help over here? This thing just took $75, $100. Sir, you just put a few quarters in. What'd you say? I'm calling Miguel. I ain't having that. I am not having that. Miguel, I'm at the pharmacy. I'm about to rob it. No, corn machine took $75. Took $7,500 from me. 
We're gonna get the cash in too. <laughs> Bro, I'm literally starving. <laughs> well, you're not literally starving. No, bro, like, I'm literally dying. <laughs> I get that, but you're not, like, actually dying. Oh my god! 911, what is your emergency? Well, my friend is just on the ground. He didn't tell you he was literally starving, did he? <laughs> well, he did! I didn't know! Did you let this hurt? I didn't know! I'm so sorry! I'm glad we're able to get together and get back to our true roots. I completely agree, YouTube. It's important to remember... Is something funny, Instagram? Here we go. Uh, I just think it's funny that you're trying to make yourself next in line to be the kingpin of this family. Boys! Kids, not in front of Grandpa Facebook. Um, it's meta now. Use the proper terms. Meta. Grandpa meta. Well, someone had to step in. What's that supposed to mean, Tick? I told you to stop calling me that. <laughs> there, there is nothing creative about it, just like your entire platform. <laughs> this is good. Shut up, Twitter. Aren't you busy enough selling yourself to another billionaire? Are you freaking cell shaming me? Oh, it's not at the dinner time. Now you've voiced oh, it. Twitch, put on Grandpa's headset. Here you go, Grandpa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Insta, remember when TikTok made you lose billions in ad revenue? Enough! I am tired of hearing you boys bicker. I remember a time when money wasn't the reason we were popular. It, it was creativity and, and inspiration that came from every one of our platforms. What happened to us bringing the world together? Like I said, we need to get back to our roots. And know that we're all in this for the same reason. To, to communicate, to entertain, to... To inspire. To inspire. Hey, I'm so sorry I'm late, guys. Snapchat, are you still doing the messaging thing? Oh, no, Snapchat. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, uh, you got a misspelling in your captions. What? Your captions, the word anyways was misspelled. Say it again. Say what? Anyway again? There it is, yeah, I thought so. What? I didn't even know we had captions. What is that at the beginning? What, the wah? What? No, what? Were you talking about the what or what? Uh, what? Hold on. What was at the beginning, but not what is that? What is what? No, what is that? What is that? I'm going insane right now. Look, I believe you asked what was what at the beginning of your sentence. If that's the case, then it was simply what cut off. I don't know. What was cut off? Correct. What? Yes, what? I don't know. Sure you do. You just said. Said what? <laughs> exactly. Let me get this straight. What was what, but cut off. What was cut off? What? Yes, what from what? What? Yes, from what? What? Listen, I think we're a little confused on what is what. Or what is what. Sure, what is what and what is what. And what is what. Yes. Sorry, I just wanted to cover all the bases. Let's just restart from the beginning. Okay, let's just try this again. You know what, Jim? What's that, boss? I really miss 2015. You wanna know why? Why is that? Drake, baby, he came out with the hit Hotline Bling. Let's play it. You used to call me on my... Look at what you did! You did it! Don't do that again. I'm sorry. Don't do that again. I'm sorry. Yeah? That is god awful. It is atrocious. Yeah. That is the spawn of something evil right there. Nothing that God made. That That's for sure. I feel like I was drinking plastic. Where did you get this? I dug a hole and there was water at the bottom. So it's dirt water. Oh yeah. Yeah. I thought we could call it spring water for marketing. What does it have to do with spring? <laughs> Nothing. That's the best part. Is it even made for human consumption? I have zero clue. It is not regulated by any water standard whatsoever. We are going to sell so much of this. Right? Hey, thanks for inviting me over, man. Oh, for sure, man. Hey, if you need anything, there's plenty of drinks in the fridge. Hello, who's... Uh, hello? What's that? Oh, oh, that's Almond. Yeah, he, don't worry about him. He doesn't fight. What, what does that mean? No, I got him trained, so... True. I just didn't want to go through that surgery, because you always hear, oh, it, it changes their personality. I just didn't want to go through that. I, I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll get him trained instead. He's a grown man, Sam. What, well, he's good. He's a little bit older, though, but he's part of the family. He's still a good boy. He keeps... Funny thing about Almond, I found him in a sewer drain two years ago, almost today. He had one of those, um, uh, plastic bottle things around huh? his neck. God bless him. Huh? Stop! Foaming around the mouth, couldn't see for six months, the whole shebang. You ain't going nowhere. I'm t Stop! Yeah, he doesn't like Hispanic people, it's weird. <laughs> God! What are you gonna do? Stop! Yeah, I can't get him out as often. You see this? You see that? Stop! What are you gonna do about that? Does he like me? Uh, what you gonna do? I, I don't know. Looks like everyone made it to the family reunion. Let's just do a little roll call to be sure. Hulu. Here. Prime Video. Also here. Disney Plus. Present. Apple TV. 
Oh, here, Peacock. Hey, Dad, I'm, I'm here. Red box. Dad. Oh, oh, oh. I was just checking if you were here. That, yeah. Roll time. And Grandpa Blockbuster. Okay. Dad, might I add that I think everyone's appreciative that you're catering to everyone. But why'd you look at me when you said that? No, I just think it's sweet. Well, when your platform is done shoving sexuality down people's throats, would you mind passing the piece? Boys, I don't want to repeat of last time, so I invited our neighbor Spotify over. Hey guys, it's great to be here. What now? So Spotify, do people actually watch you for podcasts? Uh, yeah. Does anybody watch you above the age of 14? <laughs> I'm sorry, are you laughing? Tell me, how are those Chris Pratt movies turning out? DP, is there ever a time that you're happy? Or do you just want to have a monopoly over all of us? That's a lot coming from you, Apple. Guys, I, I sense a bit of tension in the air. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. Excuse me? I'm gonna say it. I'm not comfortable with some freaking music player oh, being God. part of our family. Okay. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Dad, we do not act that way. Joe Rogan's gonna hear about this. Will everybody just calm down? We are all here to make content. Plain and simple. A new medium, a new form of publishing. Let's be happy that we have each other. And will someone please pay my rent for this month? And there you go. Hey. Yep, last switch is fixed. It was just a simple connection issue. Uh, uh, where do you gonna do with the hole in the wall? Oh, right there. Oh, I'm gonna be darn. Look at that. Oh, well, you know that that was already there. There was a hole next to my light switch. Listen, I, don't, I don't know what happened. Right. To this house. I so know. You, you know that. We know there wasn't a hole there. That's not even a gash. That's like, that's a hole, like a deliberate hole. Like some, you took out anger with Listen, that. Listen, how about we make a, a, an appointment the first of next month and we'll be able right, to. I, I presented the light switch to you when we both saw that there wasn't a hole there. I don't just have holes in my house. I don't think, I don't think anyone just has holes in their house. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is your, uh, your invoice will be coming in. No, 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 no. I, I am being fair. I'm being respectful. My temper is controlled. I think it is completely fair to ask that the job site isn't worse than how it started. God forbid be better. Sir, tone, please record your voice message. When you're for the life of me, I just can't keep a hold of my money. I just, I'm constantly spending it. You can't let expenses control your life. It reminds me of a time... Insert cash or select payment type. How do you want to do this? <laughs> hey John, how are you cooking fish sticks? Hey, I wanted to make a nice home-cooked dinner for us. It wasn't easy prepping these. I'm glad you recommended them though. It just doesn't seem like you to... The fish sticks aren't even open. Fish sticks? What, what did you use? What's in there? John, I thought you meant... I didn't know! I didn't know! Oh God! I, I didn't, I didn't know, I swear I didn't know! I, we, can, we can recover from this, we can recover from this! John, where are my fish? I can't buy you new ones, I didn't know! Do you know what, John? You don't put the roommates in that fish! In retrospect, I should have thought about that. I thought you said it! Oh, I would recommend cooking the fish that I take care of! Oh God, please forgive me! Are you eating them? I'm sorry, I'm nervous! So what you're looking about? I was hoping to get a new TV. Okay, what's your price range? Probably like 200. Damn. What? Hmm? You said, you said damn? Well, not like, I, I just meant like, damn. No, no you didn't. I mean like, damn, he, he's stacked. No, no you didn't, you just, you just lying. Okay, I'm, ju I'm just saying we've all been there. What you mean by that? I can help provide for you, brother. Provide like charity work? Brother, you are. Have you seen these TVs? What, are, they, are they expensive? What do you want, 4K? 1500 right off the bat. Damn. Yeah. I just make myself look stupid. No, nope, just incomplete. Well, what can I give $200? My, my brother, you can pray. We got a goodwill next door. Damn. Hello, is that all the luggage with you today? <laughs> oh, is this all the luggage with you today? The, the accent, that's great. Oh, are you Are you making friends with the maps? Oh, no, I just... We'll uh, yeehaw! Oh, yeehaw! 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 Y
That'll be twelve fifty. All right. Thank you. Whoa. Huh? You look like you were checking out my card there. Oh, <laughs> it's our new protocol. <laughs> okay. What? What are you doing? I don't need you staring at my card like that. Are you trying to memorize the numbers? What's that? Sir, I'm simply just identifying which bank this is connected to. I, I don't know what to believe. Are you writing them down? I would do no such thing. I want to speak to a manager right now. Are you taking photos? <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh god, oh my god. Now for the million dollar question, name the title of this song with only hearing the first few seconds. It's... Yeah. Oh. What you think it is? Say it. I want to hear it. My brother, I want to hear you say it. What's the issue, Ellis? Come on. Come on. Rock it. Uh, rock it. It's, it's a third one. No, no, no. I want to hear you say it. Ain't no one gonna blame you a million dollars. Million dollars, Ellis. I'll say it. Hell, I'll say it. I'll say it with you. Go. Come on, Ellis. You got me itch. You got me. It's For a million dollars, my brother. You gonna get that up? Yeah, yeah. I'm Come so on, scared. Is that a hot one? No. I can't. Just ah. Ah. Ain't no one gonna hurt you right now. Oh God, please forgive me. Ain't no one gonna blame you, Alice. Martin Luther King ain't gonna blame you. Oh, oh. It's right there. It's right there. You got it right there. I see it. I see it right there. Oh, hold on. Oh, this just in. There's an optional question you can answer. Oh, thank God. Oh. What's yeah. it called? I keep the close watch on this heart of mine. She's too small. I swear, if I have to get refitted for a whole new joke, Lord, 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 do not let them be wrong. For their sake, do not let them be wrong. Not today. I can't do this today. Hey. Hey. You gave me the wrong shoe size, didn't you? I'm talking to you. Acknowledge me. I am a customer in distress. Hey, right, sir, I'm sorry. Did, did you need something? You're gonna give me attitude. Okay, okay, I have that. I am not having that. I will not be disrespected by this. I'm calling it. Again, it happened again. Some pale rock boy pissed me off. <laughs> We're gonna follow him home to that. No, I don't care. Cancel your plans. <laughs> Roll the skate rink. No, let's take him out back. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna need you to book that reservation for us. Why do you have to make me do it? They're just people call and get it done. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Hello, what's the name? Uh, it's uh, Colin. Last name, what's the last name? Oh, I'm sorry, it's um... I'm gonna need you to speak up for me, young lady, I can't hear you. Right, uh, it, it, it's uh... What's the last name? It's, it's Cathwood. Kalewood? Cathwood. Cathwood. Uh, can you spell it for me? Right, it's C-A-T-H-W. Whoa, slow down, partner, start again. Right, sorry. Take a breath, buddy, just start it over. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's C A T H W O O D. I don't see Cathwood on here, bud. Oh no, I like a reservation. Oh, well, why didn't you say it on the first place? I'm sorry. I thought. Why don't we just waste our time trying to find you on this list when we very well knew you weren't on here? I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Oh, you didn't know you were on the list? What kind of stupid are I'm you? I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry. I hey, pulled yourself together. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, please forgive me. Yeah, for that, I'm going to make you pay a $50 reservation fee. <laughs> okay. Hell, on top of that, you're paying my rent this month. I don't care. Okay, that's fair. You know what? And a $500 tip for wasting my time. <laughs> Rockstar, you answered. I want $3 million. 49713 Shell Drive, Atlanta, Georgia. Your social security is 521-847251. Your bank routing number is 12519-4627. Your mother's maiden name is Rachel Hensley. Your blood type is A positive. You're allergic to shellfish. You got two brothers, one sister, and your full name is Austin Leslie Myers. Did I get all that right? Your life's over, Austin. Mm. It's over. Rockstar's a multi-billion dollar company. What you think was gonna happen? Austin, you got five minutes before three hitmen are at your location. Don't even try.
Don't even try. You better stop praying to go to heaven because that's the only thing you can do right now. It's over. <laughs> then we're going to deport your whole family overseas. I'm <laughs> so sorry. We've completely removed your identity off the face of the earth, Austin. You ain't a person anymore. You have one minute, Austin. Good luck. God bless. <laughs> Did you find everything okay? Yeah, just, uh, everything okay? I, I was just checking if I had enough. And you do, right? Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Plenty. Plenty. You sure? Because every time I scan one of these items, you get a little bit more nervous. A little bit more distraught. No, no concerned. Flustered. Distressed. Anxious. Perplexed. Oh, you think you can slow down? Why, you worried about the money? No, I, I just, uh... Then let's keep going, let's keep going, money bag. I, uh, I... Uh, what? I owe you? Because I know you don't mean that. I, I'm not sure if I, um... Have. Have. Say you don't got it. Say you don't got it. Have the bell. Oh, your total is 155.25. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, but we got a gas fee. Huh? Yeah, that'd be 180.25. Yeah. <laughs> My TikTok isn't getting a lot of likes. What? My TikTok. Russia has been publicly threatening the use of nuclear weapons on Ukraine. Okay. And in turn, NATO is also publicly threatening the use of a physical response. China is prepping to invade Taiwan. The U.S. is beginning to cut ties with Saudi Arabia and in turn is now threatening the United States. Russia has been constantly performing cyber attacks against the U.S. government. North Korea is performing missile tests over Japan. China and Russia are stockpiling gold to create a global currency that could be capable of crippling the U.S. economy. The Euphrates River is dried up, which is typically the sign of the end of days. China is emitting more CO2 than the entire Western Hemisphere. Biden barely knows he's the president of the United States. Underwater European gas pipes pipelines are mysteriously getting blown up, and Russia's nuclear doomsday weapon submarine is missing from its harbor! And you have the audacity to tell me that your TikTok isn't doing as well as you'd like it to? I mean, it's not. Oh, well, you got to meet my dog. <laughs> Damn, like, did you just throw my dog? I mean, that's a cute dog, and I'm like, you got a cute dog, cute dog. What are you, yeah, little pooch cute. Are you cute? Are you trying to play it off? <laughs> No, he's cool. he's cool. You can be cute with the dog. What? You could have killed him. He's okay. He's okay. Where, are, you, are you dancing? What is this? Oh, sh okay. How'd you... It's that? Bam. That's incredible. Oh my god, Ron, are you okay? Grayson, do I look okay? How did this happen? I was searching for the wall stud and accidentally clipped my arm through the drywall's molecular structure. This hurts so bad. It, it hurts? My ulna has turned to powder, Grayson. How do you think it feels? Oh my. It's your right forearm bone. Did you not take anatomy class? Or your left bone? I don't know. They're both powder at this point. Ron, how can I help you? Oh, my best bet is to push the rest of my body into this tent of space. Wait, so there's like space space behind there? Everything is space, Grayson. It's the infinite three-dimensional region in which all matter exists. We just shut up. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, if I don't come back from this... I'm glad you were my roommate. Ron. Also, I know you've been stealing my coffee in the morning. Ron? You found the chair? Yeah, I found the chair. Let's list off some reasons as to why you feel this way. Um, you know, the divorce was horrible. That was tough to get through. Our, our cat Molly just died. Uh, the hit and run with that family was horrible. I didn't eat breakfast this morning. What, what was that? Yeah, when I don't eat, I get in these mood swings. No, the, the, the um, hit and run, was that it? Yeah, family of four, not one of my best days. But yeah, I've learned to drink coffee in the well, morning. Well, let's the hit and run thing for a second. I think there was something there. But then when I saw that the mother was still alive, it made it so much more painful on my part. Okay, so that, what, what are you insinuating there? And after a neighbor heard the commotion and the police arrived, I had no other choice. Do you want coffee? I and Once I was done with the police. I think I have tea as well. I then hunted down the neighbor who alerted the law. Is it hot in here? I feel hot. I feel warm. I went house to house. Oops, <laughs> there's sweat dripping onto my paper. It took so many houses. I think we should stop for today. It's fair to say that anyone who's ever found out about the incident didn't stick around for too much longer.
<laughs> hey, would you rather have four dollars or have me double it and give it to someone else? Double it. Would you rather take eight dollars or double it and give it to someone else? <laughs> double it. Sixteen dollars or double it? You got double it. Thirty-two dollars or double it and give it to someone else? Oh, gotta double it. Would you rather take sixty-four dollars or double it and give it to someone else? I gotta say double it. You sure that's a lot of money? Yeah, double it. Would you rather take a hundred and twenty-eight dollars, over a hundred dollars, or have me double it and give it to someone else? Double it. $256. Double it. Double it. Double it. Double it. Would you rather have $4,096 or have me take out a loan and double it for the next person? Oh, well, I can't stop it now. Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. Double it. Double it. Double it. Double it. Would you rather take $65,536 or double it? Double it. Oh my god! Double it. Double it. Listen, I'm feeling generous today and I'm wanting to give you $524,288. Oh wow, is there like a challenge involved? Or I could double, double. it. <laughs> Production can't afford anything over $128, Glenn. What's the damage? $1,048,576. Shoot, there seems to be, there's a cockroach. Sir, what seems to be the problem? There's this huge bug in my meal. I want to speak to a manager. Sir, I did see you put that bug. Hey, is there a problem over here? Our guest said he found- He spit in my food. What? Black. Yeah. I did not. I did not. He came over here and just spit in it. That is not true. Explain the fake roach then. Oh my God, there's a roach in my meal. Did you plant that there too? What? What? What is going on? He put that there because he was trying to get a free meal. I had nothing to do with it. How'd you know it was fake? Yeah, Vlad. He's made out of plastic. There's still a buy one, get one free coupon on it. Oh, so now you're calling me stupid. Listen, I saw you put the fake cockroach in your meal to get it for free. He then accused me of spitting in his meal, even though there's none of that to be seen. And now he's trying to accuse me of verbal harassment because he knows that none of his statements have any factual, circumstantial evidence backing it up. Isn't that right? He hit me as well. Vlad! Oh my god! Hey, did you do the dishes today? Yes, I did. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Whew. Oh, hey man, long day. Oh yeah, my feet are killing me. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my god! <laughs> Cute, right? Stop! Oh my god! More barking bite. Right? What are those? <laughs> Do you want to pet them? That, that's disgusting! Put them away! Mm, oh, you don't so You so do Stop! Stop! Look how cute they are! Oh. That is not natural! You gotta go to the hospital! I love you. I love you. I am mortified. Oh, excuse me. I think there's something wrong with my meal. Is it not warm enough? I feel, yeah. That feels cold. That feels room temperature, for sure. Or is it the drink? Is the drink not cold enough? Yeah, probably not the drink being cold enough, right? Yeah, it definitely feels like the drink isn't cold enough. Not enough. Is it not enough ice? Oh, is it the pie? It's the pie, isn't it? We usually keep it at room temperature. Do you want it heated? Do you want it cool? Hey, what's going on? And your waiter just put his hands all over food my not food. Warm. Wait, it's not warm enough. Is it the drink? Is it the drink? I thought it was the drink too, yeah. Is it the pie? Yeah, that was my third guess. Yeah, probably not enough whipped cream. Look at that. Look at that. Give him some ice. Give him some ice. There we go. That's good, right? Not enough ice, yeah. I was just gonna say the food needed salt. Oh, I forgot to mention yesterday I was having a panic attack, right? And what? What for? Well, you know I have my final for English coming just up. Just call it stress. What? Just call it stress. Why does everyone immediately proceed to calling any ounce of stress a panic attack or anxiety? Okay, well, I was in a really bad place at that moment. Were you? Were you really? Yes, yes. Or I do you think possibly that you're just so desensitized by modern day Western mentality that you think you're a victim of some quote unquote mental illness, but in reality, you can't come to the acceptance that even the slightest inconvenience upsets you as it would a child. Are you insinuating that I'm immature so I can't handle stress? You hit the nail right on the head. It's almost as if it was framed to let stupid people understand. How freaking dare you? You know I have to take medication. Oh, God, and there we go with the medication. Like, do you think there's a possible 
possible chance that it's in Big Pharma's interest to get you hooked onto Xanax so they rack in a billion more dollars a year? And God, that mental illness talk, I hate that word so much. It's okay to be stressed. It's normal. I would be concerned if you didn't have stress. Though I have depression. You know what's depression is? Is a mother losing a child or a, or a soldier having their brother die in their arms. And then we have people like you who have the audacity to say, I have depression. I have PTSD because I got a C on a math test, so now I need to take medication to cope with it. Give me a break. How dare you? How dare I? How dare you? You can't even see through the denial. God, and there are actual people with genuine trauma, and they are a hundred times stronger than this godforsaken millennial Gen Z attitude. God, what happened? And you all just feed into it. Why? Is it more convenient? Are you lazy? Is it because it's just easier to give in to these fabricated phrases because it lets you have an excuse as to why you don't work as hard as everybody else? Don't get me wrong. I know there are bad days and good days to everything. But what happened to, to fighting to be better? Don't give in to this weak system. What are you doing? I'm tweeting about this. Right, right. Hey, get me a pen. I'm on a important phone call. Now, give me the pen now. Okay. Yeah, y'all open Monday through Friday. Okay. Okay. And when are available times for the appointment? Give me the pen now! The pen! Um, where are the pens? You know where the pens are! Okay, um... Are you dancing? Get the pen! I don't know where they are! I don't know where they are! Are you stupid? Get the pen! You know where the pens are! They're not in here! Check the drawer! I'm looking in the drawer! The drawer! I'm looking in the drawer! The drawer! I'm looking in the drawer! Do you see where I'm pointing? I know you're not pointing! The drawer! Which drawer? I'm gonna be... Damn! I'll get it! Right here, you see it? You see it? Yeah, let's find your McDonald's application while we're at it. Oh, uh, there's a pen already here. Donate to charity. Okay, you walk past me like I am a human. He's looking down on you, you know. Everyone's gonna walk past me, huh? I'm a, I'm a human too, okay? I ain't one of them robots like that chat GTA thing. I don't know. You know, we only got $50 in here. Is that a 10? We only got $40 in here. Wow, y'all just walking past me. Get trip you. Damn! Don't act up. You can't go back. You can't go back. Hey! Hey! I saw you staring over here. You got enough for roasted pecans, but not enough for homeless children, right? I'm talking to you! I know you parked your car, you know that, right? I went to prison for aggravated carjacking. I didn't even know that was a thing. Acknowledge me! You know what? I'm talking to you. You're right! What? You're right. I've, I've been buying for the sake of buying. What What happened to giving for the sake of giving? Christmas isn't just about buying things for one another. It's about love, kindness, tradition, and reflecting on the blessings that we've received all year, every year. Here, there's 40. You know what? I want to get back as well. You got a spare 20? That tattoo dude seems sketchy. Run, stop being so judgmental. Did you hear anything the guy said? We're supposed to count our blessings. I am a blessing, Grayson. I'm your blessing. And you're freezing, aren't you? And I'm freezing. Hey, with those two big breakfasts, can I get a couple more hash browns? Like two more for each? Yeah, well, no, no. Each I, comes with one, so six in total? No, no, I, I'm sorry, I know what you mean. I mean one for each. Oh, so you want the two hash browns? Right, right. You said the two hash browns, it, it's throwing me off. Two, the four hash browns. Okay, okay, so the two hash browns, let, let's have that represent the original two. Right. One for each. One for each. Do you want two or four? Four. More. More? No. Four more? I, like I said, six and two. Just listen. Just listen. Okay. Just listen. Okay. Just listen. I'm with you, my brother. I know. Let me get my, my two breakfasts with two hash browns. Now they're clear. Okay. And then let me just order two hash browns right. alone as a separate meal. Right. So like another two breakfast meals? No. Oh, okay. Re uh, retract that. Damn, okay. Retract that. Go on. Take it out. Just whoosh out of your head. I don't even know what we're talking about. We got the original two hash browns, right? Check that off. Bam. Done. Right. Then we're going to add two more in... in Total. Right. So how many does that make? So when you say total... I'm going to drive my car through the building. You mean total is in total total or total is in total for one breakfast? Total total! Oh, okay, okay. 
Four hash browns in total, two hash browns for each meal. Yes, yes, thank you. Hello? Yeah, sorry, I said breakfast has been over for like half an hour. You brought a house woman gift, like I said, right? Yeah, yeah, I, bu I bought a few things. A few? Hey guys, how you doing? Jeremy! Jeremy! That's me. Um, look at us bringing the gang back together. Congrats on the new apartment, man. I was just talking to Sam about Here's it. Here's your housewarming gift. A, a table tray. Sam, what is that? You just said it, a table tray. Thank you so much, Sam. Jeremy, uh, stop. Sam, you were supposed to bring a housewarming gift, not something that makes you look like a serial killer. Oh, no. Sam, it's great. I got you something else, too. A, uh, a corner standing shelf. I looked up your apartment online, and I saw that your house had corners, so I was like, Oh, he's gonna love this. Okay. No, Sam, you get like a bottle of wine. Oh, well, in that case, oh, here we go. I got you wall mirror. Oh my God. Sam, where did that come from? He loves it. He did not signal in any way that he loves it. It's fine, Fred, really. Sam, you understand you're giving him furniture. You said to. I did not. I did no such thing. What are you on? A new outdoor rug. Sam, how much did you spend? Oh, I was gonna print you an invoice. Are you, are you trying to make him pay for it? He owes me. Sam, it's supposed to be a gift. Well, where, where do, where's my present? I don't think you've grasped a single social cue this entire conversation. I bought you a ladder. Hey, can you hear me? Hey, man, yeah, I just want to see how you're doing. You need me to call the police? My leg is stuck on the seat. I can't get out. Bryce, where are you? Oh god, there's there's a fire in the back. <laughs> there's so much smoke. I just, I can't breathe. I think my leg is broken. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to cut it off to get out of here. Oh, what, Bryce? Hang on. I, I hear police sirens. Okay, <laughs> I can't breathe. I got a pocket knife on me. I gotta start on my leg. I'm here, Bryce. I'm here. Show my wife and kids I love. I <laughs> will, Bryce. I will. God. I feel the fire burning my leg. I'm gonna break the bone. Can you just count down for me? Start from five. Stop. Okay, okay, Bryce. Five, four, three, uh -huh. two. I'm just joking. This is a voicemail. Please leave your message after the beep, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. You've played Jenga before, right? No, I, I haven't. Oh, okay. Well, you just take turns taking a block out from the bottom and stacking it on top without it falling over. Okay, okay, so like Lego? Um, well, no. It's just a game about trying to make sure the tower doesn't fall. So, like, kind of like stacking cards. It's blocks. You, you just place blocks on top. It's It's got to be the simplest game yeah. ever. Yeah, oh my god. I, I'm so sorry. I just realized. Yeah, I've played <laughs> right, this before. Right, yeah. yeah, this is like Uno, right? No. Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. No, it's got nothing to do with Uno. I told you, it doesn't involve cards at all. Tic-tac-toe? Are you comparing stacking blocks to tic-tac-toe? I don't know. I don't, I'm trying to understand. I don't, you're supposed to teach me how to play. Garrett, what are you talking about? I've, I've explained the game twice, and that's two times too many. Okay, I'm just going to spitball some comparisons. Bam, bam, bam. You just, Okay. you come back out. Okay. Chess. No. Checkers. No. Yahtzee. No. Monopoly. No. Battleship. They're just naming classic games. Bull riding. What? Is that a no? Yes. Oh, so it is like that. No! Tetris. That's the closest you've gotten, and it's still nowhere near correct. So like a pyramid scheme. Garrett, what are you saying? What is I this? I don't know. My, my grandma this? told me to watch out. What is this? What what planet am I on right now? I, I'm beyond scared right How now. How are you getting me upset about the instructions of Jenga? I, I, I don't even want to play this anymore. All you have to do is take out a block and put it on top without knocking over the tower. That's it. It's over. Oh. Oh. I get it now. Uh, can you explain it one more time? Yahtzee. <laughs> Yeah, you know it, Dylan. But like, my man. Come on. <laughs> okay, y'all, I've got a great idea for our next scene. Let's hear it. Okay, wait, I'm all ears. I'm feeling, I want you to be an undercover agent that is British. Ooh. <laughs> okay, and Kai. What's poppin', Dylan? Okay, I'm thinking I want you to be a five-star chef <laughs> with a thick Chinese accent. What? Yeah, I want it to be thick. Uh, I'm talking. I'm talking, I want to hear that chow mein cooking in the back. <laughs> Take the R out of work and walk the walk, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what you waiting on, Kai? <laughs> we want to hear it. Didn't you say you went to Julia? I, I, I thought I was talking to a real actor. 
I want that made in China accent. Oh. I want to hear you bing that chili. Oh, God. I want that accent so thick it puts us on lockdown. Oh. I want that accent as good as that propaganda. Oh. I want to lower my social credit score. That's how heavy I want it. I want to leave Taiwan quack. No, World War Three type of vibes. Oh. I want it so oh. thick I want to question the CO2 emissions in this room. Oh. Come on, Kai. You got me itching. You got me itching. Ooh. Got me barking like a dog. Thank God I ain't one. <laughs> you can't say that. You can't say that. Yeah. Yeah. It's right there. I see it. I see it in your eyes. Come on. It's right there. Come on. Just scrap. Shit. Come on. Come on. Oh, it seems like the audience wants us to switch up the characters real quick. <gasps> Indian man doing a thick Chinese accent. Oh.